I'm Teresa Coates from Shannon Fabrics and I'm here at the Fat Quarter Shop Studios talking to you about binding with cuddle fabrics. So binding with cuddle is really actually super easy and it is something that can be done with cuddle quilt kits or with your patchwork quilt that you backed in cuddle or even just with a piece of spa cuddle that we bind and create a whole blanket out of that. Super easy to do. You're gonna need a few tools. You'll need your walking foot for sure. You'll need a stiletto and you'll need wonder clips. And that's about all you need to make a really quick and easy binding. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut our strips. So we've used a Lux Cuddle for here. And it's a one and three quarter inch strip that we've cut widthwise across the fabric and we're gonna use that for our binding. So we're gonna put this along the edge of the cuddle. Okay, and this is just the spa cuddle. So it's a double sided cuddle that we're gonna bind with the Lux Cuddle piece. And I'm gonna wonder clip this every few inches and then I'm gonna take it to my machine and sew it. So I'm, I'm using my walking foot. I've lengthened the stitch to 3.5 and I'm just gonna use a straight stitch all the way around this. And I'm just using the edge of my walking foot as a guide. I'm gonna stitch right up to the corner, about a half an inch away, and I'm gonna stop. And I can mark this with a pin to make sure that I'm stopping at the right point. Okay. Before I get to the pin, can I put my needle down? There we go. Put the needle down. We're gonna pivot and sew right off that corner. Okay. And I'm gonna take this fold it up along, can you see it there? Okay, so I'm gonna take this and fold this up along that seam that I just did, fold it straight up and then straight back down. And I'm gonna make sure that fold ends before the raw edge and I'm gonna pin it in place so it doesn't get away from me. Then I'm gonna wonder clip again, just a little bit down the side and sew some more. And then we're just gonna stitch right along this edge and continue all the way around. Okay. So then to, com to combine my tails, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring one up and one down. I'm gonna get them so that they're close to where I want them to be. This one's a little bit shorter than I'd like it to be, but we'll make it work. Okay, I'm gonna put those together. I'm gonna hold it and I'm gonna basically put these folds so that they are together. So this is where my seam line is going to be, sort of. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this so I can get it nice and flat and put the pin in the right place. Okay, and I try not to move too much around there. I'm gonna pin it through both sides again on either side of where I wanna stitch it so that I can leave those pins in there while I'm sewing and it's not gonna move on me, okay? So I'm just going to back stitch here, stitch all the way from one corner to the other. And then I'm going to take my pins out and make sure that it fits nice and flat. I trim this off at about a half an inch. So once we've stitched it all the way around, we've did our little binding here, then I'm going to come back in and wonder clip this so that I can sew it the rest of the way. So now that we've got the binding sewn all the way around, so it's our half inch on this side, we're gonna take it and bring it around and match it just past our stitching line. And then we're gonna wonder clip it down here. And I just do this a little bit at a time, one side at a time. 
stitch that and then I'll move my winter clips and stitch again. So we're gonna put it like this. We're just gonna do a little zigzag stitch all the way around to hold it down. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna zigzag right along this edge so that it zigzags just off the Lux Cuddle and over to here. We're doing it right along the raw edge that goes just past the seam that we made as we stitch the binding down from the other side. Okay. And we're gonna stitch it right along. If it gets too fluffy, I can always use my stiletto to kind of push it underneath the foot and keep it from getting out of my control. So we're just gonna zigzag all the way around. We use a neutral color thread. So on this, I'm using actually like a medium gray, but I would probably use a white if I were doing it for a finished project. But you can use medium gray for just about anything with this fabric and it'll sort of mush right into the Lux Cuddle fibers, which is great. And we use a polyester thread. So even though we did this with the gray thread, you can't really see it once I fluffed up the fibers with my stiletto. You just bring them right up. It'll hide all of your stitching and you're good to go and you've got a blanket. So here's a couple more examples of using the Lux Cuddle and the Cuddle 3 is the binding. This one we did a serpentine stitch and this one we just did a zigzag. It's super easy. I hope you'll give it a try and give it a shot with your next patchwork quilt or with your cuddle kit and I wish you the best of luck. Thank you.